it's Halloween Heartthrob and my Lutz, if I'm pronouncing it properly now, Zuzu Delfeni Tadash. And today I will be doing the complete doll tag. Sorry, I have the my notebook and my notes uh, in my hand. So if I'm looking down a lot, I am actually looking at my notes and reading what the questions are. So the complete doll tag is where you take your most complete doll um, and answer some questions by them. And the first time I've seen this tag or people reference to this tag, they say um, it is by Alex Ellie. Uh, I think I'll, I'll put her um, YouTube name or YouTube channel down below. I, I think I did um, another one of her tags before. So, and I'm subscribed to her, so. So she's cool, so check her out, which will be in the link after you've watched this video, go watch hers. So number one, what is your doll's full name? Uh, Tadashi's full name is Tadashi. Um, in my world, unless you are a human or an elf, um, you do not get the privilege of having a full name. The closest thing to a full name that Tadashi has is Tadashi the um, white fox demon or the marble fox demon. Um, because he's a demon, he just, uh, it's like Madonna or Cher. It's just, that's it. <laughs> a brief summary of their story. So Tadashi is a full demon. Um, in my world, full demons are treated very, very poorly and very much like criminals. Uh, the only way that they could possibly, uh, survive in this world is either to stay in the Blacklands, which is where they were born, uh, that way, in the land of, I guess, they call it Blacklands, because everything is all forest, um, it, things are constantly burning. It, it's described as a hell on earth because that's where demons go. Uh, there's murder and violence and all that. So Tadashi got away from there because he liked to stay in his neutral state. The best way you could describe neutral state is the, like the pictures with the chaotic good, chaotic neutral, and chaotic evil. Um, chaotic evil would be his full demon form, um, which there is another form to his full demon, which means he is a lot scarier, a lot more menacing, mean looking, and uh, chaotic good, which is his human form. Um, demons can transform into those three, and Tadashi refuses to transform into a human because he is not, and he is, in a sense, proud of his demon heritage, so he took that, um, and took his chaotic neutralness and traveled the world um, to learn more about other things and to try to create his own society or find a society where he is accepted f to be able to look the way he does. Uh, most of his traveling has to be done through his human form because of the um, biased against demons because they're unpredictable. So basically Tadashi is a traveling librarian. <laughs> uh, number three, a quote or a passage from your character story. Now I don't really have that fleshed out per se but he's still finished character so the I guess the best thing that Tadashi would say would be <laughs> kind of like sassy. I know more about that than you. Um, the, uh, like The Office. I think it's from The Office. I know more than you. Um, is it The Office? I don't know. The Ron Swanson thing. Uh, number four. If your character could go back in time to only what... If your character could go back in time to one moment, which one and why? Um, Tadashi is not the type of person to look back on anything. Um, he's a very forward, uh... I, if I did it, I'm facing the consequences, is agitated about things. So I, so I guess it doesn't specify what a moment in his own life. It just says go back in time. I think if anything, he would change um, people's per perception of the uh, demons and wishes that they would do more research instead of just hiding in fear and trying to control them for their power. Number five, if your character were to choose their cause of death, what would it be? That's kind of intense. Uh, he would probably something super valiant, like fighting for the cause of equality. So probably in a very honorable way. Number six, what is a life lesson 
what is a life lesson your character has learned? Um, very quickly on, uh, because he traveled, he was a very wide-eyed young boy when he first traveled, and he thought he could just trust any human because, of course, you know, um, he thought that because he was in his neutral state that people would be more understanding, which they were not, which kind of hardened him, but he grew more mature. Uh, number seven, how long did it take to complete your doll? Two months, maybe? Um, it was very quick. He, Tadashi was probably one of the quickest dolls that I've ever had a story fleshed out. Um, once I figured out he was not a girl, uh, everything came, like, supernaturally. <laughs> everything came very quickly to my mind saying, you know, he told me everything. He's like, yeah, I like books, I like traveling, I like mapping things. I'm not a girl, so stop it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's my life. Number eight. What trait do you and your character share? Um, our naive opt optimism and our overbearingly realistic ideals. <laughs> uh, and they both counteract with each other very, very harshly, so it leaves us very confused. Um, even though we have facts and information, we still let our passion get in the way of some decisions we make. Number, I think this is the last question. Um, number nine, what would be the ultimate gift that, what would be the ultimate gift that is possible for this character? The ultimate gift for Tadashi. I don't know, Tadashi's not a very, um, materialistic kind of doll, unlike my other dolls. Looking at you, Shizuka. He is very happy with his little journal and book. Uh, I need to make him a map. S and I do have a mini, very, very mini library. I would love to update his room that I made him and make him a full library, ha like, in loft. So I guess a mini diorama for him. Um, I, I guess that would be it. The only problem is, is I have no space for it. And I feel like that's a lot of people's problem is they don't have the space to give their dolls all that they wish they could. So more books and a place to put them. <laughs> so that was my complete doll tag video. I would really like to, I'm going to hold on to these questions. And once I complete more of my dolls, I would love to do this tag again because I... I think Tadashi is one of my most favorite stories, um, him and Bear, because they have the most real realism, not realism, uh, tra tragedy, I guess without sounding too melodramatic. No, that's not the word. What is, what are, what is the English language? I know words, but I just don't know how to use them. I think Bear and Tadashi's stories are my favorites because they just... They come on top even though the world has literally crapped on them. And that just makes me happy that they can still have their ideals and hopes and dreams um, and not be too overly emotional about them, but not completely blank slated where they've gotten to the point where nothing matters and, you know, they just hate everything. One of my characters is like that, but just Tadashi and Bear um, have gone through a lot and have grown more mature because of it. So I'm really, I really connect with those characters because they're the kind of people that I would like to be. <laughs> I'd like to be more mature than I am, but in a sense of having knowledge. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you would like to hear more about Tatashi's story because, like I said, he is my more fleshed out character and I'd like to do a full story on him, like tell you more about his struggles and his life. So let me know in the comments below if you want to hear that. So like, share, and subscribe. Comments are always welcome, and I'll see you guys either on Wednesday, Friday, or Monday. Bye!